With nearly a quarter million North Carolinians getting the J&J &J shot, some are concerned. WFM News 2's Jess Winter spoke to many people who have mixed opinions. She's live in Greensboro tonight at what was supposed to be a pop-up clinic today. More than 50 people were scheduled to get the J&J &J shot here tonight at the Renaissance shops in East Greensboro, but it's been postponed. Comments like these flooding social media. Glad I didn't jump the gun on this vaccine. I will never take it. But reactions are mixed after the FDA recommended a pause on Johnson & Johnson vaccines over rare blood clots. For six people out of seven million to have these blood clots, I mean, look at the percentages. That's just way low. Scott Lynch says he got the J&J &J shot last week. And the next morning, the headache continued. But then that turned into nausea. I was okay with the symptoms. I would be more concerned if I didn't have any side effects. John Taggart says he's on the fence about vaccines in general, but says he'd get the J&J &J down the line. Well, for one, I'm disappointed. Um, I'm hoping it gets lifted um, because that was the one, if I have to get a vaccination, that's what I wanted to get because it is more traditional. But as a black female, who has underlying health issues, diabetes and high blood pressure. I felt it was very important to make sure um, that I protected myself. City Councilwoman Sharon Hightower represents East Greensboro. She's hoping this news doesn't prevent the already apprehensive minority populations from getting Pfizer or Moderna. And people who are already skeptical and didn't want to get the vaccine, um, at least they said, well, if I do get it for whatever reason, I'm going to get it. It's only one time. And pretty much across the board, postponement details are still being worked out.